Do well, I would not be surprised to see if this is the match that gets him out of this pool, but he's gonna have to do it against Under the Hood Rocking King DDD. Uh, I feel like this is a character we're seeing a bit more frequently nowadays, but God, I hope we don't. And uh, you know what? This <laughs> wow, uh, this is a player that we haven't seen at all on stream today. Like that all these other players we've seen recognized coming on the stream time and again because you know obviously they're winning, so that's why they're getting this far. But people were, hey, my man was hiding under the hood. So that's why we never saw him on the stream. Yeah, I got it. So this is going to be a projectile war through and through, man. You, you see the projectiles he likes to equip, or especially that he likes to equip our very long-range specialty. Meanwhile, you got King Dedede who thrives a lot of that Gordo. So it's going to be a lot of timing-based, right? Because if he throws that Gordo off too soon, it's really easy for Destiny just to send that Gordo back towards his opponent. Is this song actually playing right now? This is really happening. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's I your, love that's, anime. Your, that's your mood setting music for Gunner vs. DDD. There DVD. you go. Honestly, he needs it. Does, what, does, what he needs to get in the robot. What is that, Evangelion? Like, yes. Yeah. So here we go. We got I Gordo. don't know why we have a chip tuner edition of uh, Curl Angel's thesis happening, but that's how it be. It's we, beautiful. To remind you that we are at a gamer con. Too many games. Not enough stocks for DDD, though. Star KO to start off the round. I thought it was a gaming con, not an anime con. But I guess it's a nerd con, so it's whatever. Hey, listen, it's Chip Tune. It's close we enough got to Chip Tune. Chip Tune, baby! Gamers like anime, right? Okay, my. Uh, on, but you know, one thing Descalade doesn't like is that Gordo coming Yeah, this way. Gordo seems to be stopping all of the fun things that we saw out of Descalade. Like, it's putting a curb to any of his movement in the air with forward air. And, you it's know, stuffing a lot of his projectiles. And he's playing the matchup correctly. Like, he, he's respecting the Gordos. He's holding a shield. Because if you hold shield and the Gordo, they just disappear. They, they go bye-bye. So, you know, as long as that happens, they just disappear. If only it was that easy to get rid of them in, like, Kirby, you know? Yeah, these, these guys don't go anywhere. Yeah. But here, they're ready to schmoove. That's right. Okay, trying to get that little bit of a missile. Sends the Gordo flying towards his opponent. And he's looking for this back here. Yes, yeah, sir. Descalade knew it was coming. Though, whenever you see a King Dedede floating like that, facing away from you, it's pretty obvious he wants a back air. Yeah, that's pretty safe on shield. Another fantastic punish coming from Descalade, laying down the forward smash against his opponent and gets the kill. Yeah, Dedede's not exactly the most graceful of characters in this game. Uh, and if he does hit, while it may be well choreographed, it hits hard. Oh, At 141, yeah. Descalade cannot even afford to really get touched by much, but. With a quick SD, I guess that's not something he's going to have to worry about today. King and DDD falling down. And, you know, he's thinking a bit. You see under the hood, seems a little bit perturbed by that uh, last SD. Kind of just fell down to his death. I think he, maybe he just mistimed how many jumps he has. Because King DDD has, I believe, five jumps. So not like Greta Knight. And, oh, no, it wasn't that. he. It was a misinput. I think he accidentally threw out, like, an up air when he wanted to push up B. Maybe his thumb slipped. He put the, hit the A button instead of the B button. I mean, the A button's really huge. So, you know, sometimes that happens. Maybe it was a side. Maybe it was a Gordo. I don't know. Regardless, it was an input flub. Seems like looking at the uh, little bit of a sneak peek to the game, trying to figure out what we've got going ahead of us. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see that DDD again. That DDD, even though he's able to stave off a lot of Descalade's pressure, it ultimately didn't mean a lot. And I feel like that's just because Descalade clocked back a lot of the fancier stuff that he was doing earlier and just playing a very traditional projectiles game. Keep the ledge keep space away, just keep racking up that damage, get out of jail when you need to, and like, it worked really well. It was helping him out a lot in the end run too. So here we go. Got some new uh, new um, tag coming in. Maybe he might be able to help him out with the change of pace going on here. Now I wonder if that also means it's gonna be a new character. Captain oh, Falcon. it is. Usually when people put in that new tag, you know, they're definitely busting out a new character to throw onto the roster. So always got to see that coming his way. Here we go. Battlefield. The Triplats have begun. Oh, that, it's going to be this kind of match. I think that was a misinput, bro. I think he wanted to go for an up B. I, he was holding shield on that platform up above. That could have been a very easy command grab. So I, I or maybe it's one of, I don't know. Maybe it's one of those kind of matches. But regardless, I know it's going to have to work on that a bit. He has a you know, it's kind of even so far. Like the writing's on the wall for us, Austin. Look at what yeah. we got ahead of us. We got the white and pink Falcon with the Hacks Money tag. 
Oh, yeah. And my man is trying to, to mix. And speaking of Hex Money, he's actually jumping into Ultimate once it's Banjo is released. Now. It's actually happening. He made that claim back, all the way back in the Smash 4 days that he would jump into it. A stubborn gentleman, but he's a man of his word. Oh, yes. Almost got not hit by that down here. That spike would have sent him flying. Back throw. I feel like as far as matchups are concerned, Gunner's going to have a hell of a time being able to just put a ton in the way of Falcon, especially as this battle manages its way towards the ledge. So I'm really curious to see what Under the Hood wants to do here to just stuff Gunner. Okay, Hacks Money gets the up B right in front of him, catching that shield. Under the Hood looking for yet another one. You saw him prepare a second up B. It's really good at catching a lot of players off guard because, you know, when you think of Captain Falcon, he does have a command grab, which is something you have to respect to you. It's really difficult to be holding shield against the likes of him. Yo, I just realized how, like, good this mine is for tech chasing. It's good for tech chasing and also that that, that little booty bop, boot him, boot him, bop him, uh, the, heat the, the seeking. Missile? The slip yeah. missile? The slip missile. Yeah, that's the booty bop. Okay, but that back air, and give him that little backhand, two stocks apiece. Catch the back of the fist is all you need, man. Ooh, don't, got need, don't need fancy names for any of the tools that this character is breaking. That's up. right. Well, you yeah. know, it, it really drives you to wonder. Like, uh, Falcon, great rushdown character, doesn't really like to deal with projectiles, but I guess he, he can by way of running around them. But what do you think Under the Hood could be doing in this situation, trying to stop Descalade from running away with his set? He's got to stop getting hit by these projectiles. Those, those missiles are doing a lot of work against him, right? Like every single time he gets caught off stage, he doesn't see the missile coming. Because it's so small, especially like you said, mentioned in a previous set on Battlefield, that blends into the background so easily, like camouflage, that you just, sometimes you can just catch you completely off guard. And he's just having trouble trying to like break the zone because that's what Captain Falcon wants to do. Wants to get in, and you saw him go for a Falcon kick, which is actually a great zone-breaking move against an opponent. They don't see it coming, but Force Smash has so much range that like, ay ay ay, gonna get caught by it. Throwing out some more down Bs towards his opponent. Forward air is a really good tool for me, uh, me Gunner, to just kind of like give himself some breathing room, pushing himself backwards. Like one can argue that that's the reason to play the character. Yeah. I mean, like I said, just trying to buy some space here. Under the hood at 147%. It's caught. Oh, no. Another SD coming from under the hood. That's the second one today. I don't know if this is, like, normal for him. But, like, you know, once he's on a stream setup, again, nerves are a thing that could be a real thing. This is his first time on stream today. Meanwhile, this guy's been chilling like, here on stream. Everyone's yep. been wanting to get a piece of this me gunner. Right. He got another foot still coming out, trying to land this forward smash. When you actually think about it, like, each of these pools is kind of, like, similar to, like, a le weekly local. You know, like, the winner of this, you know, gets, like, fourth place or whatever. But actually, in, in reality, it's going to, like, a, a, a more tough bracket. Right, A right. tougher bracket. There we go. Neutral air out of shield. Oh, my just, God. Doesn't matter. All right. I mean, I, I respect that, right? He went for the LPI shield. That would have connected. He would have got a kill, and we would have back to the stage. But because it whiffed, he fell to his death. It's going to be under the hood going down with a 33rd place finish using King DDD and Captain Falcon. Meanwhile, Descalay with the meat gunner still, you know, surviving after all of this onslaught going into the top 32 loser's side. It's going to be taking place tomorrow. That's going to be it. You're going to see from me, gunner, man, for the day anyways. For now. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if there's another meat gunner coming Is up. Is there right? another? Another meat. We've seen <laughs> it. We, have, we still haven't seen Brawler or Sword Fighter, so yep. those could be a thing that could be coming up. So I believe we still have one more match coming up for the uh, pool. Is that it? If I'm looking at the stream queue correctly, you are correct. Yeah, as our next one should be Mercury versus John Switch. Yeah, Mercury versus John Switch. Then we move on into Wave B pools. This is going to be our last set, guys. We jump out there. I actually entered the bracket today, so you'll see. Oh, me. you entered? Yeah, you'll see me going 0-2 later on in this. Oh, no, bracket. no. No, you see 